guys, welcome back to Keith Customs. Today we got some exciting new news for the channel. Uh, one thing is I sold my Mustang. That's, it would have went right in that area there. I sold my 85 Mustang GT convertible. So I uh, still got the 89. She's parked, parked over there for winter. So, but we got a new member of the family to the channel. Uh, I've always liked motorcycling, so I decided to get another motorcycle. It's a 2017 Lowrider in Velocity Red. I just, I love this color. This is, uh, I guess, one of my favorite colors that I've seen on, on this bike. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, things I'm going to be doing to it in terms of accessories. Uh, backrest. I already had some grips put on it. These uh, Karyakin ISO grips. Those are pretty nice grips. A lot better than the stock ones, for sure. Uh, it's got a detachable Harley windshield. Which is nice, keep some of the wind off of you. One thing I like about the low riders is it's got the dual front and disc brakes up front for extra stopping power. It's got the 103 cubic inch V twin. This particular bike has a Vance Hines aftermarket exhaust system on it which sounds incredibly, incredibly loud. <laughs> They'll be able to hear me coming. Uh, I would start it up right now, but uh, the, battery's, the battery's dead, so I'm charging it up. Now we got uh, a taillight kit. I got a bright ass taillight, and I got a Daymaker uh, headlight to replace the stock, stock bulb. I went with these uh, these Harley foot pegs. Uh, I, I think they're a lot nicer looking than the original ones. Plus, they're they're more comfortable. They've got those rubber pads in there. Uh, just a little bit more comfortable. Uh, toe shifter. I put some mini pegs or mini floorboards on here for my girlfriend. Those pegs, uh, the stock pegs aren't too good. So I went with these uh, Harley Davidson mini footboards. Should be more comfortable for it. Uh, I've got some progressive shocks I'm gonna put on here. These are the stock ones. I'm gonna put some progressive on there. Uh, help, the, help the ride out a little bit. I like, one thing I like about the low rider is it has a built the tack and the speedometer tack and speedometer built into the same dashboard on the on the tank i like that the bars are adjustable it's got the risers and they're uh you can adjust the riser and the handlebar this bike is pretty much made to be adjustable however you whatever your riding style is and where however you you're comfortable I got some chrome stuff to go on it and uh, some other stuff that I'm going to be adding. I've got to do, I got some bags for it, some Viking bags. So I've got to do a, a taillight relocation to the license plate here. So I'll be working on that. That'll be another, another part I'm going to tackle on here. Oh, I'm real excited, uh, even though it's winter outside. But uh, I'm excited to, for warmer weather and working on, of course, I, I love working on bikes. I had a, I had a Sportster uh, 1200, that was a 98 Sportster Custom, and I had a 95 Tour Glide, which was a full-size dresser. Those were nice bikes. I, 
I just, I've always liked Harleys. I've had some, some Japanese Pikes too. They've been all right, but I really like the, the look of the Harleys. So it's been, uh, I brought it home yesterday. I don't know how, <laughs> had the, uh, the motion sensor going off when I was towing it, the security system was going off. I'm pretty sure that's what killed the battery. But uh, they got some sequence you have to do to shut it off. So you either have to, I don't know if you, any of you guys have uh, some input on that in the comments, you can leave a comment. Um, something about turning the, turning it off and then you have to hold the, you wait for the, or turning it on, wait for the light to go off on the thing for the security system. And then you hold both, both, uh, turn signal indicators at the same time. And it's supposed to flash the lights or something once and then you're, and then it turns it off. But. Yeah, that's probably why the battery was dead. <laughs> but yeah, I'm real excited. Um, like I said, got a bunch of stuff I'm gonna be putting on it. and We'll get it ready for, for warmer weather. So that's, that's my new project. Uh, should be fun, should be a fun bike. We always go to, uh, I've gone up to Tomahawk uh, in the sp in the in the fall for the fall ride. That's that's a fun time up there. So hopefully uh, get some good content content in on this, and uh, we'll have some fun with it. Well, I'm gonna grab some lunch, so I'm a little hungry. I'm sorry I haven't been uh, putting some content on it for a while. Uh, it's been busy and lots of overtime and I got some free time right now so I thought I'd start making some content for the channel again. So uh, if you haven't subscribed already, if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and like, like the video. Um, appreciate the support for the channel. Uh, we're gonna be, like I said, we're gonna be coming out with some good uh, content here and, and uh, make some, some good uh, videos. So, well, I'm gonna go grab some lunch. So as always, have a good one.